Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about index searching, the two methods for searching, the simple search and also the advanced search. To open index search within Archive Digital, you can click on index search on the left hand side, or you can also click on open new index search tab in the middle. Once you click on that, the index menu will open. And under index source, you can select the, the database that you wanna search on. You click on the down arrow and then will appear a list of databases that you can search. Today, we're gonna to look at the population of Sweden 1800 to 1947. And there are two methods for searching. Simple search, where you enter all the search criteria in one box. And the second one is advanced search. And you enter the search criteria in a designated field. First, we'll look at the simple search. And we're gonna search for Carl Svensson, born in 1852 in Pelarna. And you've noticed I put Carl Svensson, 1852 Pelarna in the search box. I've also checked the approximate search. With the approximate search, you will get more hits on first names, last names and parishes with similar spellings. Carl can both be spelled with a K and also with a C. Other names such as Oscar can be spelled with a K and a C. So once I hit search, I get 13 matches. And you notice the one at the top of the list is Carl Johann Oscar, born the 2nd of March, 1852 in Pelarna. And Carl is spelled with a C. Now further down is the very same person, but Carl is now spelled with a K, born on the 2nd of March, 1852. And you'll notice Oscar in the first example was spelled O-S-C-A-R. In this case, down here at the bottom, it's spelled O-S-K-A-R. So that's why it was important to check the approximate search so that I can get all of these variations in the hit list. Now I can select one of the matches to further evaluate the record. So once I open it, I see Carl Johann Oscar, born 1852, March 2nd, in the, in the database I searched was the population of Sweden, 1800, 1947. So this is the top of the index record. Next is followed by a toolbar, which gives me some options such as printing the record, correcting it, bookmarking it, even adding it to a family tree. Then we have the personal information for Carl Johann Oscar, his birth information, relationship to the head of the household, and the parish where the household record was created, as well as the residence. The time span for this particular household book was 1851 to 1856. We have a link to the source, and then at the bottom, we have the names of the, all of the members of the household. I can link to the source. And here I see both the index record and also the source. I can compare the index with the source to make sure that the index is correct. Now we will look at the advanced search. And there are four categories that you can search on. Name, birth, location, and household. In the name section, you can search by first name or last name or both, also gender. You can also search by partial name. So for instance, let us say that we're looking for a pair and that can be spelled P-E-R or it might be spelled P-E-H-R. So we can actually put in P-E with an asterisk and then that will search for both spellings. The birth category, you can search by the exact birth date, or range of years if you don't know the exact birth date, birth parish, the county, and a country if the person was not born in Sweden. Sweden. Location, now this is a household parish. This is a parish where the household record was created. So you can search by the place in the household uh, within the parish, such as the farm or the village, the name of the parish, and also the county. And household, this is very powerful. This is where you can search for other members in the same household, such as a spouse or a child. Do the first name, the last name, partial name, also the birth date. So here's an example for the advanced search. Frederick Anderson, born between 1860 and 1862. The wife's name was Anna and the child's name was Samuel. 
I entered Frederick in the first name, Anderson in the last name. For the birth years, 1860 in the from year and 1862 in the two year. And then for the household, I added Anna and then I added a second person, Samuel. I received six matches and four of them are for Frederick Anton Anderson born in 1862. I can select one of those. And here I get his index record. It gives his birth, exact birth date is October 25th, 1862. His birth location, even a marriage date in the parish where this household book was created. And then below are the members of the household. And his wife was Anna and a child was Bertel Anton Samuel. I can look at the original record and match it with the index record to make sure that everything is correct. But remember, you need to begin with little information and then add more data to refine the search. You will discover that both of these search methods are very powerful. Thank you.